But something was still missing. I didn't feel as fulfilled as before the pandemic started. Oftentimes during quarantine last year, I was in the shadow of homesickness and loneliness, even if I'm eating the food I made myself. One day, I watched the movie The Sixth Sense, and a woman in there said, "Malcolm, sit your cute butt down and listen up. No doubt about it, Anna is like my sister." And you better make her happy. And I'm not talking about no, mmm, this tastes like real butter kind of happy. I'm talking about, what's that girl? Julie Andrews, mm-hmm, twirling around like a mental patient on a mountaintop kind of happy. Now that's the kind of happy I'm talking about. That was a funny scene, wasn't it? But it made me upset. I was hit by the woman's definition of happiness. The original reason I learned to cook was to feel the enthusiasm of eating my favorite food, but that woman's words were like a thunder to me. The happiness that people get with real butter is a shallow one. It's not true happiness. That second, I instantly linked the feelings I get from eating Chinese food to people's shallow happiness of tasting real butter. All of a sudden, I was asking myself, "What am I even doing in the kitchen? Trying to mask up my anxiety and homesickness by cooking? That's totally a facade." I didn't feel like cooking anymore, so I stopped. And it seemed there was nothing that would make me feel good again. I had no motivation to do anything for a long time, but it became ironic when I found out that cooking was actually the simplest thing I could do in the times I felt depressed. When I cut the vegetables, knead the dough, and stir the food in the pan, those trivial things were done in order, and they distract my focus on the homesickness.